everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting video. So this is my first ever Disney bounding video. If you want to see how I created this Rapunzel look and also my Ariel look, then make sure to keep watching this video. Okay, to start off my Rapunzel look, I am doing the eyeshadow first. I'm using this purple colour from this Shein palette and I already did my face makeup because you guys have seen me do that a ton of times before. Um, so this eyeshadow that I'm using from this Shein palette, it's not very pigmented so I do put quite a lot of it on. <laughs> um, you will see here that I do put a lot of it on. Um, because yeah, it's just not very pigmented, whereas the one that I used for Ariel, even though that is also from a Shein palette, it, um, is very pigmented, so it's kind of like a hit or miss with these Shein palettes, so, um, yeah, I do put a lot on here, um, on both eyes because I kind of want it to, um, show really well, and, um, yeah, so the shade that I'm using is called Disco Bunny, I think. Um, so, yeah, that's the shade that I'm using in this palette. And it's really, like, a pretty pale purple sparkly colour. And I really liked it. And I thought it would be perfect for the Rapunzel look. So for my hair, I decided to do a half up, half down look for both of the um, princess looks. I just, I don't know, I wanted to do something simple, <laughs> um, so that's what I did. Um, so I was going to try and plait my hair like Rapunzel does in the movie, um, where she has like the flowers in her hair, you know that scene where the little girls like plait her hair. I was gonna try and do that but I cannot plait my hair at all it is way too thick and it just falls apart so this is what I came up with um, so I did like a little half up half down kind of thing and um, I also had a headband that had flowers on it um, and it was super cute but some of the flowers fell off during like shipment so I had to try and get one of them on but it just would not stay as you can see so that one kept on falling off so I was sad that it wouldn't stay um, but I just thought it was a super cute headband and then for lipstick I just did my good old MAC Brave I thought this was like the perfect look uh, well lipstick look for uh, Rapunzel um, yeah, it was just nice and simple because Rapunzel's makeup look isn't too out there. It's kind of like nice and simple. So I decided to use that. Okay, so here is my final look for Rapunzel. Um, I love this dress. It's so pretty. And this bag is supposed to be representing the bag that um, has the crown in it um like the princess crown um that Flynn Rider st uh, steals so I have that because I was supposed to be getting a Pascal handbag from Amazon but that never came in so I decided to cancel that order um so I decided to go with this instead uh for a handbag and then here is a close-up of my makeup and um my hair I really like it I also have a necklace that is in the shape of a sun which I thought was super cute and um, yeah that is the final look for Rapunzel. Okay so now on to Ariel. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I used. It is one from Shein again and it is the Deep Feelings palette and the shade that I used is called uh, Hidden Gem and as you can see it's a lot more pigmented than the other one that I used for Rapunzel so I kind of made a mis uh, mistake and put way too much on because I thought it wasn't going to be as pigmented so I kind of had to clean it up a little bit um, at the end um, but yeah you don't need as much um, as you do with the other one that I used for Rapunzel 
but I just really liked this eyeshadow um it's super pretty and perfect for this look perfect for Ariel and um yeah I just really like it it's so nice and um, it stays on pretty well and it's pretty pigmented, <laughs> um, a lot more pigmented than the other one, but, um, yeah, I really like it. It just, I just thought it went perfectly with, uh, this costume. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm, like, cleaning up the mess that I made, <laughs> um, when I put it on because I had way too much. Um, so just keep that in mind that you don't need too much with, um, this, um, eyeshadow. Okay, so for lipstick, of course, I had to use a red lipstick for Ariel. So the lipstick that I'm using is uh, another MAC one, and it is called MAC Red. And it's like the perfect red shade for Ariel. And yeah, I actually haven't used it yet. So this is the first time that I have used it, and I love it. It's like so pretty and perfect for Ariel. Okay, so here's my final look for Ariel. So I have this super pretty skirt and top combo, which I just love. I also have a shell um, handbag. I don't know if you can tell, but it is in the shape of a shell and I just thought it was perfect for Ariel. And I also have some shoes for this outfit. Um, so I just have these black kind of like school looking type shoes that I thought would be really good for this um costume or cosplay I don't really know for this Disney bounding thing um, and then here is a close-up of my makeup and my bow which I had struggles with this bow you guys oh my goodness um, it was so complicated to put on but I got there in the end so there you go there's the bow <laughs> um, it's not on perfectly but that's the best that I could do um, and then I also um, found some shell earrings as well which I thought would be perfect for this look um and yeah there's a close-up of my makeup and um that is Ariel done all right guys so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching uh this kind of cosplay video it's kind of cosplay but kind of visit you know it's kind of like in between <laughs> cosplay disney bounding i feel like um because you're dressing up like a character but you're like not in an actual costume so i don't know i just really have wanted to do this for like the longest time and i finally did it so i chose my two favorite princesses which are rapunzel and ariel um so yeah let me know in the comments below which uh disney bounding costume or outfit you liked the best i think i like the ariel one the best i feel like you can tell that you're more ariel in this outfit than with the rapunzel one i feel like if i had the pascal handbag then you would know that i'm rapunzel but um this one kind of just like screams Ariel, you know? Uh, so I love it so much and I'm so glad that I found this skirt because this skirt is like perfect for this look and it's pretty long on me because I'm really short but it is still really nice and it's just like perfect. It's Ariel, you know? And um, this is one of my favorite outfits that Ariel wears in The Little Mermaid. Um, if not my favorite one that she wears so I really wanted to do this one so something like a little bit different than like her um, like one when she's a mermaid because you can Disney bound when she's like a mermaid as well um, like in those type of colors but I just wanted to do something totally different so I didn't want to do like purple again you know um, because there was purple in the Rapunzel one um, so yeah I thought I would just do this one and yeah I also took out my um, <laughs> my hair bow because yeah that was like causing me issues so um but i hope that you guys liked this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching if you want more videos like this then let me know in the comments below and um yeah thank you for watching again and i'll see you all again very soon for another video all right bye guys